Hola amigos, Crispy from here and I'm back with some series 10 theories. Uh. So last week I asked you what do you think is going to happen in series 10 and I've gone through all your comments and I've picked out 9 of my favourites and I'll have one at the end which is my theory and it's the culmination of all yours, if that makes sense. So here we go, top 10 series 10 theories, even though they're not in any order whatsoever. Okay, so starting us off, we have one from Julia Linear, and she says, I hope the Doctor goes back to Gallifrey in Series 10, because it felt so unresolved in Hellbent. I couldn't agree more. I mean, the Gallifrey plotline uh, started really well in that episode, because, you know, the Doctor returning to Gallifrey, he's mad, but then they kind of abandoned it at the end of the episode, so I feel like it would be cool to see Gallifrey again. Dr. Whovian says, uh, I would say Simming Moffat is trying to make it big, there will be some tie-ins for the Capaldi era. So maybe when Missy went missing at the end of The Witch's Familiar, she could come back and complete the Dalek hybrid and causing the Doctor to regenerate at the end of the series. Hopefully not though, I hope Peter stays. Yes, it would be cool to have Missy back and her explain what her brilliant idea was at the end of The Witch's Familiar. Um, but the brilliant idea, completing the Dalek hybrid, that is a very accurate theory that could actually happen because Missy is kind of bonkers that she would try and complete the Dalek hybrid. Here's one from Charlie Pru. Uh, I think the story like Mona Lisa's Revenge, a Sarah Jane story, uh, where Sarah got stuck in a painting might happen in series 10, but maybe the Doctor gets stuck in a movie or the new companion. I really hope the Doctor doesn't get stuck in a new companion. Also, I would love for Asylum of the Daleks to return because it had a lot of potential and maybe he gets a new canine. That is a lot going on there, Charlie Pru. Um, I think that's more of a wish list than a theory, but I approve of it. Here we have one from Rory Acker. I feel like series 10 will be the culmination of the entire Moffat era and Moffat's time on the show. So I predict Captain Jack, Missy, the Paternoster Gang, the Silence, and maybe even the Vash and Narada all return. That would be incredible. But I don't know if Moffat would do that. I feel like I feel like he could potentially bring Captain Jack back because John Barrowman has expressed so many times that he would love to be back on the show. So you never know, you never know. Um, here's one from Justice Repair. Um, it's a brilliant theory, but it's very long and I'm lazy and I can't be bothered reading it out. Um, but if you wanna read it right now, you can pause it on the screen. Um, but basically he's saying that there is potential that the Time Lords and the Daleks could be working together. Elegy Princess says, uh, for series 10, I think the Doctor will go back to Earth in his first episode and still be thinking about this Clara person that he cannot remember. And then he might bump into someone who could be his new companion, who is no one we've ever seen before, a completely new character. Um, and it starts with them getting to know each other, and then the Doctor asks them to be his companion, and they step into the TARDIS and do the usual, it's bigger on the inside, moment. And then the whole series is just the two getting used to each other, and the Doctor getting over his grief of someone he can't remember. Clara, that is really sad, and probably really true. Um, I really hope they... They don't emphasize Clara too much in series 10 though because her story is over. Like she, she's had like almost three seasons to herself. So it would be really refreshing um, if there were references to her but she wasn't a, as big a deal, if that makes sense. Mark Cal 8 says, I think that in series 10 the new companion will meet the Doctor in the Christmas special since it's kind of the first episode where she slash he will join the TARDIS team in the first episode, and I hope there's a huge invasion, which would be a two or three parter, and a big enemy of the Doctor is invading, and we should have an episode that is from the companion's point of view to see what their life is like, and it would be so cool to find out that this companion is related to a famous companion, Hope. Um, whoa, that is a lot going on. Um, I feel like, yes, the new companion will probably be introduced in this year's Christmas special, um, and, that there probably will be a lot of two-parters, possibly three-parters, because they work so well in Series 10, I think, from a narrative perspective. Carl Copland says, uh, Series 10. I've heard that as a last series, Muffet will be trying to create a television event like the 50th for him leaving. Not as in, I'm leaving, pay homage, but something similar to the 50th in that it had an impact over Gallifrey, not being gone. We've got Gallifrey back. Now, are some of the people the Doctor knew still alive? So I can definitely see something as big as an old face returning, specifically family. The most likely being Susan. I think she'll regenerate as the Doctor does and this will launch their adventures into space and time again. I also think events from series 9 will be explained more. 
So if the image of I'm having a series 10 is correct, I really don't mind waiting. Wow, that would be cool if uh, Susan came back, because um, like Gallifrey is back and Susan's probably still out there. So um, yeah, it would be awesome if that did happen. And finally, Richard Lloyd says, the Doctor will get a new companion who will probably leave or be killed by the end of the series. Missy will return, along with the Time Lords and Gallifrey for one final showdown right at the end. In between, we'll have lots of throwbacks to old Moffat era episodes, possibly including the return of old monsters and characters and maybe some story arcs such as, am I a good man? Uh, also, I think it would be really clever if at some point, the Doctor's memory of Clara is restored, but at a cost. The Time War Mark II, ooh. Uh, a second Time War has been hinted ever since the 2013 special, so it would be fitting to actually see it happen in Moffat's last series. That is very interesting. There could be another Time War. Um, but yeah, as people have stated previously, there are possibly going to be a lot of Moffat homages, so I'm excited for Series 10. Okay, so after reading all of those theories, um, I'm trying to think of one myself. I feel like what we can assume for Series 10 is that there will probably be two parters, we'll probably get a companion at Christmas, and we will probably have a lot of homages to Moffat's previous series, like maybe the the cracks in time might return, uh, the silence will probably be back, uh, the weeping angels might get um, an episode or two. Um, what else is there? Missy might be back, uh, the Dalek hybrid might be a thing, uh, there'll be references to Clara, so th those, those things are pretty safe to assume for series 10, and I'm excited. Well, that brings me to the end of another fantastic episode of Crispy Asks. Thank you so much for your theories. Um, you're all spot on this week. Well played, well played. Before I get into next week's question, I have a little bit of news for you. I recently made an account on Whovian Amino. Um, it's like a Whovian Doctor Who app where people can share their thoughts and ideas and opinions and ask questions and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I made an account. So if any of you are on that site, please follow me. I'll follow you back, I swear. And yeah, I'd love to see what you Whovians have to say. Okay, so here's the question for next week's Crispy Asks. Um, it's a little bit controversial, but uh, considering Stephen Moffat is leaving at the end of next year, I would like to know, who do you think is the better showrunner? Moffat or Davies? So yeah, please tell me in one sentence who you think is better, Moffat or Davies. I mean, they both are brilliant writers, but they both have their flaws. So I'd love to see what you guys think is the better one. And please try not to give too much hate. Uh, you can give criticism, but not straight up hate, okay? Alrighty, thank you for watching, amigos. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very, very shortly. Allons-y! Hello, I'm the doctor. And you should subscribe to Crispy. It's easy, just click. Right there. Click subscribe for more exciting videos. Trust me. I wouldn't endorse him otherwise.